we got uh, Aaron's, or I'm sorry, <laughs> that's his brother, Brandon's Forester on the dyno. We're just going to do uh, three pulls. He put a new motor in it. Um, I tuned this car a while ago, and uh, he just wants to make sure the air fuels are good and see where it's at because it's been a while. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice setup. It's got a built motor. Uh, it's piston and rod motor, right? What? Piston and rod motor? Yeah. So yeah, pistons, rods, head studs, you know, the typical, basically like equivalent of what I call a stage three. Um, not a closed deck, but uh, it's got an FP green turbo, which is one of my favorite street turbos. And uh, it rips pretty good. Last time I was on the dyno, I, what did it make on pump? Did it do just under four? It made 380. So 380 on pump last time. And uh, yeah, we were, we were pushing it pretty good. Um, on ethanol, of course, it'll make over 420, but he didn't have a fuel system at the time, so we didn't go any further. But, um, yeah, I'm curious to see what it makes uh, now on this new block with uh, doing a couple pulls today. So we're going to get it all strapped down and ready to go, and then we'll do a couple pulls and let it rip and see what happens. Right, so we're looking at all three runs on uh, Brandon's car here and you can see we have them all overlaid pull one two and three pull one is what it came in at uh, pull two I basically uh, just tweaked the duty cycle just a tad because it was actually overshooting its boost target and then catching itself up top so since a new motor's been put in obviously something changed in the in the uh, plumbing or you know what have you whenever you put a new motor in you know i'm always an advocate of putting a car back on the dyno and double checking it because you could fix a small little vacuum hose or leak somewhere and you will get a different result and throw the tune off so this car is kind of a prime example of that um, if you look you know power is pretty much identical through all the pulls except the blue line is the last pull where i refined the wastegate duty cycle table and actually pulled the boost down to back to its target where it should be so instead of it peaking at 24, we got a little more torque right there when it came in, but horsepower dropped off anyways up top. Um, I pulled it down to 21, which was the target for pump gas, and it made more power up top. So the car's happier. Everything looks good there. Um, go over air fuels and boost curve here. You can see there's that boost I was telling you about, the first pull where it creeped up. So I went ahead and took care of that and uh, fixed that. So you can see air fuels are pretty good. Not too bad there, remain the same throughout the entire pull. So the tune was on point as far as air fuels go. Um, just the wastegate duty cycle just needed just literally like 5% trim right here. So um, got her all dialed in for you there, Brandon. Thank you. She's good, she's ready to rip again. 
and uh, she made really good power you know for this setup on pump gas it's uh it's definitely making a little more than typical usually we see like 350 on this setup on pump he's doing you know 368 was the high pull i believe so uh she's ripping and doing good so should uh should be fun at the track that's for sure <laughs> yeah yeah well the clutch that's in this thing is so aggressive i'm not surprised you're breaking axles i mean it literally felt like a dump truck when i was pulling it on the dyno it was that chattery but yeah i think uh you know car's doing good so you should be good we'll have to bring the honda up here and do some pulls and see what it makes yeah so all right well we're gonna get this one unstrapped well it looks like john's already done that yeah, good job go. john we're ready, ready to, to roll so we're going to get this one off of here, and uh, that's it for tuning today. Um, we're going to head to Spokane after this. Next stop, Spokane. Yep. Six hours later. All right. Well, here we go. All right, we got his and hers all done. See you guys later. See ya. Thank you. Take it easy. Now we're ready to go. Hop back in the D-Max and Spokane bound. Here we come. Patrick's car. You guys are probably wondering why we have a trailer. Well, you're gonna have to wait to find out for that one, but let's just say I got a big surprise for you guys when we get there. You ready, John, for this? I'm ready. All right. Got my driving shirt on. Let's go. satisfied customers that's why i love doing what i do all right john let's get to spokane yep shit we need fuel first oh shit <laughs> well we're gonna stop for fuel probably our favorite place out in uh, troutdale the truck stop and then uh we're gonna hit it so here we go